In the face of the artistic and philosophical revolution that took place during the Renaissance, many inventions, such as the violin and eyeglasses, are overlooked. However, some of the Renaissance inventions that appear to be ignored in the dazzle of all of the philosophical and artistic revolutionary spirit of the period play a critical role in enhancing the human experience today. Join us in this Liberty episode as we explore the Renaissance period's most important inventions. The Renaissance period had a tremendous socio-cultural impact on the lives of Europeans. The socio-cultural impact of the period ignited widespread advancements in all aspects of science, philosophy, art, and literature. The word Renaissance derives from the French word rebirth, and true to its meaning, it was a momentous period in human history as it enabled European civilization to make unprecedented advancements in various fields after a prolonged period of stagnation. The following are some of the greatest inventions that marked the Renaissance period. The printing press is arguably the period's most significant invention. This invention enabled tremendous advancements in mass communication. A German goldsmith, Gutenberg Johannes, invented the printing press in 1436. Thanks to this invention, books, newspapers, and magazines could be printed cheaply and fast. The invention replaced monks painstaking scribe work in monasteries. The ability to produce books and magazines cost-effectively enhanced information accessibility, which, in turn, caused European civilization to advance in leaps and bounds. For example, after reading the writings of Marco Polo, many European explorers were inspired to set out in search of new trade routes and lands. Additionally, as literacy levels increased across the continent, many individuals were able to read different texts and challenge the church and the state. Later, the works of people like Baron Montesquieu, John Locke, and Voltaire would inspire Europeans to rise against the tyrannical rules of both the church and the state. Undoubtedly, the steam engine is one of the period's most significant inventions. The steam engine continued to play a critical role in European industry through the Industrial Revolution. Through this invention, major advancements in agriculture, transportation, mining, and manufacturing were realized. Thomas Savory, a British engineer, invented the first practical and effective steam engine in 1698. Savory's steam engine relied on steam pressure to operate, which caused it to blow up often. In 1712, Thomas Newcomen came up with an advanced version of Thomas Savory's steam engine, which was not prone to blowing up. The new design had safety valves, which remedied the problem of blowing up and was used for over 50 years before a better version was unveiled. The first wearable eyeglasses were created by Salvino Diamardo in 1284 AD. However, it is during the 15th century when the first spectacles were created to treat ailments such as presbyopia, hyperopia, and nearsightedness. During the 13th century, a methodological theory on how to take full advantage of eyeglasses was put out by Bacon Roger. By the 14th and 15th centuries, many companies came up to take advantage of the increase in demand for eye products across Europe. Developments in the field of eyeglasses set the stage for greater discoveries through the use of lenses. In 1590, Zacharias Janssen, an ingenious spectacle maker, created the first microscope. At the time of this invention, Zacharias is believed to have been a teenager and may have relied on his father's vast experience to create the prototype. Zacharias Janssen's microscope was referred to as a compound microscope. A compound microscope is made up of two lenses. The first lens picks up the image while the second magnifies it. This wondrous invention enabled scientists to explore, understand, and cultivate life in a novel manner. As news of the discovery spread across continental Europe, scientists across all fields adopted and developed it to advance their respective fields. The discovery also helped to revolutionize the field of biology. 
as biologists were now able to study the fine details of life. The most outstanding aspect of this discovery is that it enables people to extend one of their sights by making extremely tiny objects to be visible to the human eye. Later, scientists like Galileo Galilea would advance this discovery to make radical discoveries about our solar system and the universe. While no one knows when the first compass was invented, historical records show the Chinese traveler Zhang He used a mariner's compass to conduct seven voyages between 1405 and 1433 CE. Compasses are believed to have been invented during the reign of the Qin Empire. Initially, seafarers and travelers used lodestone, which is a metal ore that exists in a magnetized form. Typically, lodestones are directed southwards. Initially, lodestones resembled the shape of a spoon, but due to advancements during the 18th century, tiny magnetic needles substituted lodestones. Europeans may have discovered the use of lodestone during their interactions with the Chinese during the Renaissance period. In 1680, the Irish physicist Robert Boyle invented the first match. Boyle did so after discovering that compounds such as phosphorus and sulfur generated fire after they were rubbed together. However, the matches created by Boyle were not very safe due to their high flammability levels. Advancements in chemistry and physics enabled John Walker to create the first matches that were safe to use in 1827. Today, many people across the world continue to use matches daily. The sense of rebirth resuscitated continental Europe, which, to the Renaissance period, was living in antiquity. The discoveries that we have highlighted are the tip of the iceberg. The Renaissance period brought us a plethora of scientific and artistic advancements that continue to be invaluable to us today. Thank you for listening to this Liberty episode. We hope you have enjoyed the discussions and gained an appreciation of the Renaissance period vis-a-vis -vis its contribution to modern life. Like, share, and subscribe to the Liberty channel for more interesting discussions on various historical occurrences. Feel free to comment and tell us what other historical event you would like us to cover.